Hello everyone, this is Mr. Hendo. I have a two-ton Pittsburgh Harbor Freight engine hoist that I just recently put together. Uh, if, you're, if you're putting one of, these get, one of these together using those instructions that came with it, make sure you tune in to see how to actually put these support arms on. Because you may or may not have figured out that if you do it according to the instructions, they will not match up. Initially, I thought it was a manufacturer error or Harbor Freight, this was like a return maybe, and then they had the wrong support arms. But it turns out they had the right ones, and uh, what you have to do is actually loosen this. You cannot tighten these two bolts for the main arm before you line these up. So if you keep this loose so it's able to rock back and forth just a very small amount, you can lower it or angle it a little bit where these will match up, push it back in place, and as you tighten all the bolts, everything will go into where it needs to be. So here it is, all assembled, ready to go. As you can see, I'll jack it up a little bit. And everything's working like it should. I'm currently taking the engine out of my 2002 Ford Explorer, and that's why I need this. So my next task that I'm going to have to tackle is actually going to be how I'm going to arrange some kind of flooring so that way this thing will move around because if you notice I have a lot of these gravel rocks in this open shed that I use so currently I have a um, currently I have a sheet metal plate two of them but I'm thinking about getting some plywood and just kind of making a, a, a subfloor kind of deal so I can actually move this Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on these videos, whatever you want me to answer or try to figure out. And uh, stay tuned for some more helpful videos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I want to show you how to fix slash actually install the side support brackets for this Harbor Freight two-ton Pittsburgh heavy-duty engine hoist. Now. Uh, I had previously had this whole thing put together with the exception of these two support brackets here and what you'll find out or if you put one of these together you'll notice that when you so these go supposed to go like like this and support the the main arm here but uh, if you try to put these on after this is bolted and tight this main uh, arm here it won't there'll be about a half inch gap between where it's supposed to meet up or made up with these two holes so what I uh, what I did was I loosened it I took the took the arm off took the hoist off, or took the hydraulic ram off and I loosened this and you can see that's why it's so uh, flexible here and uh, once you do that you can then line it up and once you once this is loose and you line it up you'll tighten these here these ones tighten those up and then you can bend this back and then tighten this and I think the force of tightening this bolt will straighten it to make it level so we're gonna we're gonna attempt that okay so I'm gonna uh, take this bolt out here make sure these are the same here okay put the bolt through here put through the hole Here's the right washer and the nut. I'm just going to put it on here to hold these on. I'm not going to super tighten it or anything. Alright, now I'm going to come down here and fit this one on. Okay. So again, with this loose, this part loose, it allows you to line that up. Same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna try to tighten these hand tight. Because what I foresee happening if we if I don't do this, if this isn't in the right spot, is if I bend it too much, it's going to uh, bend the threads on the on these big bolts. Uh, I don't know how strong they are. So this looks like 
be good here, be good there. And there you go, now it's actually on there. There's a little bit of a gap, but I think as we tighten it, it'll, it'll close that gap. So now I'm going to try to figure, decide which one I'm gonna tighten first. I think it's gonna be these. So let me go ahead and tighten these. But essentially, you see it fits, so that was the solution. You have to have this part loose in order to line these up. Because again, without this loose and at its full flat mounted position on this bar, uh, the, there was like a, a half inch gap where you couldn't line the hole up. But miraculously, now there isn't one. And it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna tighten those up. Now, another thing I wanna mention is I got the, uh, I just re recently got the uh, get down, <clears throat> 21 gallon air compressor and I did a lot of research and a lot of people said they were they were really bad air compressors and they wouldn't work with power tools but as, as you're about to find out they are actually pretty amazing and what I had to do so uh, something that some people don't know is <clears throat> you have to have a uh, if you try to use that air compressor with your power tools with a uh, quarter inch air hose <clears throat> nothing it won't work period uh, you'll get not enough air pressure because the diameter is too small to deliver the required amount of air, uh, standard cubic feet per minute or what, what have you, to the gun. So uh, <clears throat> I bought a 3 8 inch hose, hooked it up where previously the gun wasn't working with a quarter inch on the 21 gallon air compressor, and as soon as I hooked it up, it works like a charm. So there's that. So these are 22 millimeter sockets, and this should tighten it pretty good. You want to alternate these. You don't want to go completely on one side and completely on one side. You want to alternate so they slowly get the right amount. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on these videos, whatever you want me to answer or try to figure out, and uh, stay tuned for some more helpful videos.